fucking up. Bra, motherfucking doped up. <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> doped up and broadened. Doped up and broadened. Doped up and broadened. Doped up and topics. Doped topics. Doped up and, dope topics. Dying topics. <laughs> <laughs> broad, broad, doped. <laughs> Broads up and dying. <laughs> I'm your host Kim Condon here with my co-host Vape God Alex Scarlato. <laughs> What's Ew. up, everybody? <laughs> Ew. I'm just rebranding myself right now. This is your new rebrand. Yeah, Vape God? yeah. We're here with a special guest. A special guest. He's a special boy. He's a special boy. Definitely special. From the Doped Up and Dying podcast, mm -hmm. it's Dylan. Hell yeah. How you guys doing? What up, Dylan? Thank you guys so much for having me. Dylan, yeah, are you just course. ditching your last name? I'm afraid to say it personally. I, everyone is afraid to say it. Is it, it. Negri? Uh, it's Negri. Just don't overthink it. There's no two Gs, That's one what my G. mom used to call me, and my mom still does. Negri? Negrita. Negrita. For real? Yeah. That's what does it mean? It means little black, black girl. Yeah, it means <laughs> Pretty black. Pretty cute. Yeah. That's cute. It's always funny when people ask me, like, what does my last name mean? It like If you look it up, it literally just means black. It's Shit. your name translates to Dylan Blackman. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's a it's a it's an Egyptian name. Negative. My grandfather was Egyptian, so technically it's Africa. Just saying. Not a, not not Dylan not, claiming not, African. He's on telling us that he's got <laughs> African ancestors here. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> It explains a lot, Dylan. It does. It does. The, yeah, yeah. yeah, I see the African. You're just going back to your roots, <laughs> right, dude. Right I get it. It's right here. It's in, the, it's in the beard line. His roots are frosted tips. <laughs> <laughs> dude, so we're excited to do this podcast. We're, uh, we're going to do a little pod collab with Dylan, and we love Dylan. We, we, we appreciate him. But, we've, we, but you well, know what? I'll tell you right now. We're not happy with our producer. We're not. What? We're having, we, we're having a slight. Sweet boy G Mike. Listen, Sweet boy so G Mike. G Mike joined the show a couple months ago, and it's been paradise, okay? I feel like it's been, like, um, uh, what's it called in the beginning of, like, our honeymoon phase for a while. Yeah, first G, Mike, thing, G Mike fucked us good for <laughs> ten episodes, for good sure. Day. Yeah. That's the first thing I said when I sat down. I said, I'm so happy you guys have G Mike as a producer. G Mike fucking rules. And both of your reactions were less than stellar. Yeah, no, yeah. We love the guy. We do. We do. We but. did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. He what was happened? a good boy, but... We hung around here all day on Tuesday. Uh -huh. We were very excited. We were so excited. We got, first of all, possibly Ian, Ian is Ian, waiting to Ian, give his bag to Mr. Ian's Zach. giving his bag to Zach Wild, and, as talked about in the last episode, and we do have to pay attention we, to this for a so minute. Funny. He a bag of what? He's, his a bag his of hero, of, Zach every, Wilder, is doing a podcast next door, so Ian sent Paco out to go get Zach his Wilder's favorite, favorite candy. candy. So he, he brought like back every boy. version of a Reese's that you could possibly get. That's what he just went It's and did. a bag of like 15 different Reese's. And he's waiting to give it to his hero, who he's never met before. Oh, it's... this is me and Brian were just talking about this about like not trying to keep cool when like you're like are you new your heroes he around. Yeah, around. I've only ever done it once at this podcast studio. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> he, oh my god, oh, I can't. He's up. two thumbs up with a bag up. of candy so in his excited. hand. He, he's bouncing. He's dude. truly Willy Wonka right now. Yeah, with the candy. <laughs> he does look like Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka eyed. <laughs> just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him that one? Tell him what I said. Tell him. Just tell just bailed him. Out of it. I call. I called you Willy Wonka. <laughs> 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 he called me Veruca Salty Pussy. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh man! All right. What did G Mike do? Okay, we had it's big a big J deal. On. I don't even know how to put it. We're he so excited. Lost our Big J Okerson episode. We had a Big J Okerson episode. It was so great, so funny. It was so fucking funny. It, big J is a hero of mine. It was a massive deal to From get him in the studio hear, to do broad topics. He put things in his butt. He put things in his butt for he us put in the episode. In his butt for us. For you guys on yes. broad topics. Yes. On air, on camera. And we have the entire thing recorded with no audio whatsoever besides the intro. We watched porn with him. We watched so much porn with him. Half the episode was watching our favorite porns Just together. Just dub it like anime. <laughs> we've like gone through I suggested that we've gone through all of the you options you shut up <laughs> you shut the fuck up <laughs> G Mike trying to save himself was like well we could just dub it I was like what that's not a podcast that's, with Big J anymore I remember most of it <laughs> I remember most of it this is where Big J said yeah oh yeah that's a good pussy somebody suggested we hire a lip reader so that we could <laughs> reread it I was like this is a lot of effort when it becomes this in theory project. we could just get Big J in again next time Kim's in town it's annoying but like 
We're not dubbing over the whole thing. We're Instead, not we're dubbing. punishing G Mike. Yeah, G Mike needs to be punished. So, damn, you guys lost Big yeah. J and got me. That stinks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Then on top this, of that, the second, <laughs> <laughs> the second reason is G Mike said, "Don't worry, I'll make it up to you. I got a new guest." And you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> and you lost Big J. You got his <laughs> shitty apprentice. <laughs> a young Luke Skywalker walked in. We like, lost Big f- J and we got smoking. We got J's. his NBA, <laughs> his NBA two K two two fucking trainer in the room. <laughs> yes. That's so funny. Damn, G Mike. I saw G Mike yesterday. Uh, he was doing another podcast episode. He's like, "You want to smoke?" And he, I've never seen a man more disheveled. And he just was twiddling his hands while we we're smoking. And just goes, "Yeah, I fucked up." Well, we were trying not to talk to G Mike that day because we were so upset that we were like, we really don't want to hurt his feelings. Like shit happens. But it I couldn't felt look. Like, I couldn't look at him. Look at, was, look at him <laughs> looking at me. It, it was like a breakup right now. G Mike hasn't left. From like the computer screen, he hasn't looked through the window yes. to look at you actually in your eyes. I've been, ha- I had look at the day that it <laughs> happened. Like he, yeah, he looks you down. You know when you come home and your dog, <laughs> when your dog the tore up the newspaper the, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he tore up the couch. Yes. Um, dude, this functions like a breakup in my mind. When I found out about it, it cut me to my core. And then it was like as the day went on, every time I thought about it, it hurt just a little bit less from like getting used to the pain but it today's the first day we won't physically assault the, yeah him. this was the first day that i could be like all right we lost the big j episode it is what it is mm-hmm. like that fu- yeah that fucking hurts it took yeah. a day that fucking hurts we're, we're getting through it but i'm not everybody knows i'm spiteful i'm not letting it go <laughs> he needs to be punished so we need to c- <laughs> come up with a list of punishments for g mike so yeah, I, 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 a I, list I, of punishments <laughs> <laughs> I have yes. a legitimate. I have a legitimate idea because I know G Mike actually hates <clears> this, <throat> and this will genuinely be a punishment. Something that will truly hurt him. Let's truly start there, him. I guess. Sure. Exercise. <laughs> what a better. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be healthy. Make him post the videos that he makes for himself. He makes comedy videos and just text them to people. He makes the videos of him going to get the Dylan, thermometer. As a as a as a as a punishment, you want us to further his want, career. Yeah, he's funny. His we, videos will do well. Yeah. We can encourage him out. as friends to do we're that. Not gonna but make, yeah, we're you're gonna... just explaining friendship. <laughs> we're not gonna. I'm not make good him at friends, Hey, when yeah. I like him again, I'll tell him to put his videos up. Yeah, but right now his videos can fuck off. <laughs> For all I care. Well, I bet his videos have audio. <laughs> Gee, Mike, do your videos have audio? <laughs> Every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> So it's obviously what has to happen though. Something needs to go in his butt. Something needs to go in That's his it. butt I, for I'm sure. Sorry. I mean, it's, it's it's the answer's obvious. The thing is, we Something's were going, going to convince butt. him to put the thermometer in his butt one way or no. another without this happening. Yeah, He's so part it's... of the damn show and he cares. So I feel like we need to put something a little bigger up his butt. It should be. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I said no to thermometer, and you're already going past that. Yeah, that was before you. Yeah, ruined that was our... before you ruined the big J episode. The podcast. Yeah. <laughs> G-Mike, so you... what do you how, think would be a good? We were gonna come out with with a Lewis episode, a J episode. And a Dan Soder. Dan Soder episode all in a row, That's and now we trendy. have fucking Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dylan. By the, way, by the way, guys, great for my career. Thank you so much. This is great I'm so for happy me. to be here. <laughs> and we both, we all feel Everyone's so opposite. Up the Soder episode. <laughs> This is my big break, and this is your guys' lowest point in your career. Dude. Kim Condon performs at the comedy store. I perform at bars. I was in Patterson, New Jersey yesterday. She was headlining four shows. She is a star. Kimmy's great. I... I was like, did yeah. I headline? <laughs> no. like, I thought you were there. gonna bring up what happened yesterday at the club. I almost did. I yeah. got pissed. No. Should I? I don't know. <laughs> Kim, you every could. day there's yeah, a new, new story. Harrington. First new of subject. all, first of all, you shut up. <laughs> you don't get to move us on from your punishment. Look down again. Look down again. <laughs> you might should have to write an apology. St- Put it on a stick and then put that in his butt. So the apology is <laughs> you have to shove out it. of his butt. I do like the thought of him having to shove an apology up his ass. Yes, Dylan. Shoving it up. <laughs> I don't hate that. Do you remember that year of Naked Roast where that girl took a Ziploc bag pussy. out of her pussy? I'll never joke? forget. So if she could see? do that, you could put an apology in your ass. I will never forget her unrolling her scroll of jokes out her pussy. It <laughs> that was, was iconic. Epic and icon an iconic skank fest moment. Has to be written on ten- eight by ten paper. Cannot be one of like the smaller pieces, but like computer size. Or it paper. could be an index card because you need some cut on the edges. Oh, that's oh so... yeah, a little thicker, like no. a cardboard type situation. I, I do printer paper. You could do it in tissue if you want, but it's got an apology's got to be. It's got to be. Ass. It's got to be readable. I think that's a really good punishment. Shoving his. I don't. It has to be. <laughs> also, by the way, 
don't skimp on the apology. It has to be beautifully written. Yes. Oh yeah, you got to. Oh, he's presenting it. He's presenting uh -huh. it. Ian's oh, presenting right. it. Oh, present. Paco's Paco's getting it. He's standing Paco's at the door. Can we okay, turn the camera Ian, that way? Ian Finance no. is standing at the door like the oh cool, like, yeah. like, like trying to be in a cool position. No, he's got his hand. No, no. Oh, when, when, when you do the this lean, oh my he's god, leaning, he's, he's leaning, leaning like this on the wall against Mr. Wilder. He's doing. Mr. Wilder. He just turned back and candies. flicked us all off. He can hear us all. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, sir. <laughs> nice pose, what? loser. What? I just want to say, <laughs> I am so much more of an interesting guest, even not on the show, than Dylan. <laughs> hey, listen, man. I'm filling in for Big J. Shut up, Ian. Give Mr. Wilder's candies. What? Give him his, give him Yo, his go, candy. Go give your hero his candy. You are two seconds away from getting ass thermometered again. <laughs> oh, right? God, no, no, no. You want to talk shit? You want to talk shit, Kim? You want to talk shit? Get out of here. See, that's right. Yep. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> We gotta hide. We gotta hide that monitor. He screamed, "I am the power!" As he left. I think he screamed, "I am white power." <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know how this network goes. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, shoving your that. own apology up your it's ass great. is really it's good. It's such a good perfect. Dylan. Great job! It's really good. I'm trying to get funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really. I think I want. I also want to incorporate like a videotape of it where um, he pulls it out of his mm -hmm. ass, opens it up, and, and reads, reads it, it on it camera. Was. Yeah, absolutely. And if it's not a good apology, How big do you think my ass is? Gonna be <laughs> <laughs> and again, and that the, girl fitted in her pussy. You can the asshole ass. stretches more than you think it would. You just oh, have to relax and let it happen. G Mike. You know how we, you know. Imagine how relaxed we were when we were filming with Big J. That's how relaxed your asshole should be. The trick is you have to push out while you're pushing the thing into your asshole. <laughs> as relaxed as we were when we were on. Are with you guys Big really J. giving me anal advice right now? Yeah. Yeah. G, my, you can get a finger in there. If you can get a finger in there, you can definitely get a. Piece you can of get paper a little, a little uh, post-it in there. Also, it's funny because if it's a bad apology, you can literally tell him to shove it back up his ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shove, shove it back That's up true. your ass. That's true. a good he point. He reads it. It's a bad Go put it back up there. Try again. That's a good point. <laughs> I like that. I think this is face a decent place to start. I, say, I think that's a good first suggestion yeah. for a punishment, and I think maybe I think Let's over the next. Suggesting... Do you yeah. want to do a wheel of punishments like Legion of Skanks, <gasps> where we could no, put no, these like yes. on it? No no no, 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 no. They could be broad topics punishments, though, and that's no, one of them. We're and do... it's really and then he spins the wheel and gets one. I think instead of a wheel, we do our own thing. Okay. Like a uh, like you we know that you know the sorry game that you pushed. Yeah. We replace the thing inside with. A dice, and then that dice. That's pretty funny too. Is the punishment we write our own pun punishments on the board game? Okay, I like that. We could play sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's kind of appropriate. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like how G Mike didn't want to do the wheel of punishments when typically he's the one that writes those punishments. So he's like, I don't want to eat cum. It's like, dude, that was your own suggestion. Like, I don't want to snort my friend's dried cum in a line <laughs> like a cocaine when it's his dried cum. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so I think, yeah, we'll take that suggestion. That'll be the number one. We'll take a couple, few more over the Give next Give us some weeks. fan suggestions. How, how would you punish your producer if he lost your Big J episode is what we want to know. Which, not to make this worse on myself, would have almost definitely been the biggest episode we ever had. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For sure. So That's again, for sure. He's he knows. actually doing this punishment. You know what? I respect that he knows that. He should that he's know. A, a, he knows it, but I'm, he's admitting it out yeah. loud. It's crazy. We're shocked that he knows. <laughs> That's how bad it uh, is. I've never seen him look so sad, and it's hurting yeah. my feelings now. Anytime okay. I've ever fucked up on a podcast, and they just do a fifteen-minute bit on how, how shitty you fucked up, you just sit there as a producer, like, I know. I it happened did to me myself. last week. I doxed Lewis on Christmas night. What? On Christmas Eve, I left Lewis's phone number in Legion of Skanks as it aired on Gas Digital. Wow. Uh, by accident, I had COVID. I did a ton of edits in the episode. It was a Zoom episode of Legion of Skanks. You should stop saying his number. I couldn't agree more, but you know what? The following week, I got punished very heavily. The whole episode, they were like, what do we do? Let's just keep doxing Bobby's girlfriend so that Alex has to go back and make all of these edits or else. It was like it was like he was holding Bobby's girlfriend with a gun to her head. <laughs> just all, shooting around her? Uh, yeah, and being like, yep, save her. Keep getting keep getting her name out of this podcast. I would have said, I love bleep that god damn it <laughs> wait that's another oopsies. way we can punish g mike oopsies <laughs> ah, truly truly hurtful i'm just watching him frantically put down multiple timestamps. time codes dude just edit <laughs> so great
Um, so yeah, we'll have to we'll have to figure something out to to do that because it's a, it's a shame. But we're happy you're here. We we Thank I so feel much. like we have you know we've spent some time together with Dylan. Obviously, you spend a little more time with Dylan than I do. Um, and I don't. I feel like I don't know much about you, Dylan. I swear to God, I'm trying to think of a moment between me and Dylan <laughs> that Christ. I could actually like full on remember <laughs> as like a core memory of our friendship. And I hate to say this right now, Dylan. I got nothing. <laughs> Alex, Dylan, do you have one? Ditto. I see you every day, but it's in passing. We are friendly, but I have got absolutely nothing. Have so, you even been to like Six Flags with us ever? Yes, you have. Six Flags. We never had like that, like a moment though Our of like moment involves Kim. <laughs> yeah, what is it? When uh when she was and uh long uh not long oh we're taking long. this out. We're not putting <laughs> in my fucking oh not that day. I wasn't there that day. We're cutting the. Yeah, so change right. the thing. That's right. We had a moment after you. Kim doesn't even want to this. seem weak. Kim, There's no Kim's point of even weak. saying this. Kim's not weak. We're cutting it out. We can't even have the concept no. of you. No. Okay. I'm not giving it to fucking. Oh Bleep man. That. To this. <laughs> Bleep that. Fuck that. Unless we're gonna put the has the grossest in here, then we're not gonna put it on there. I, I'm. I'm just saying. Damn. Controversy sells. Pretty, it's a Maybe pretty... we should leave the whole damn no, thing. No, take it out. I feel like it stays in now. <laughs> no, cut it out. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. We mother, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? We've just had a series of things that we've asked to be removed from the show, and we're back. We're better than ever. No, we're not. <laughs> What's happening? We cut that for sure. But so, then this motherfucker threatened me not to cut it. No, no, no it's still I, in there. It just doesn't have audio. I no. said I'm definitely gonna cut it. Don't worry. He's gonna cut it. Into a clip. Am I being threatened on my own podcast? The point is, me and Dylan have never had a moment of friendship, and we're trying to... <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to deflect. Oh, we had nervous. one moment of being friends with each other that we're not going to talk about on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Kim won't let us speak about. Um, no, I... Um, oh, fuck that. I'm pissed. <laughs> I will say, though, I, have a, I do have a core memory of you. I, I, it's going to be something else we have to cut out. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's definitely not... I'm not going to say it out loud, but... It's definitely not a... I don't think it goes you both ways. You want me to ways. tell my core memory of you? <laughs> <laughs> Are we telling core memories? Oh, you want to... You want to play this game, Kim. We can play you all wanna, day. You want to swap... Play. You no. want to swap core memories? <laughs> it's the core... Our core game. memory just came back to me. <laughs> it's the core memory off. <laughs> it's the core memory off. Could that be the name of the episode? <laughs> Core memory. It's off. just the whole episode is edited. <laughs> <laughs> this, ed this also has no audio. Um, uh, fuck, dude. That's I can't so say funny. one of my core memories about Dylan. I'm realizing. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. Let's well, it's just it's, it's soft core memory. So you can make one up, point. Alex. Soft core. Me She's saying they're all bad. We all have. I'm bad saying they're all personal. We they're know each other too well we to even be regular yeah. friends. We're it's we're like family who doesn't it hang is, out. Yeah, it is yes. Weird. Yeah. 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 Well, it's also like, I think you and Harrington are super close, and then me and Harrington had like a fight coming up. So I remember there was even times like before you guys were officially right. A we couple. were shit talking for a while. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like all of a sudden I remember like even at Skank Fest it was like weird seeing Alex. I was like I have to go beat up your boyfriend and shit. Like I I got, technically you're on the opposite team. Mm -hmm. So it was like yeah, there was definitely like three months we also had to, you know had to take a step back. Nothing like, like a little gas digital competition, <laughs> a little in house healthy, conflict, a little healthy employee competition. Yeah, like Look that, what they're doing to you guys. Um, you I don't know that fighting each other for for vape crumbs <laughs> it's crazy vape crumbs. nobody <laughs> has help. i gotta tell you this is gonna have to get cut out too. <laughs> nothing we're talking about is appropriate for this podcast we're halfway through the podcast <laughs> that's crazy dude <laughs> we have to record another hour <laughs> you know what you could bleep that just bleep the words and <laughs> 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 but right there also bleep that but, but at one point that. you said so people are gonna. No, it's you... okay. They'll know something's missing from. I got a concussion and it almost put me in the hole. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Kim thought she knocked the funny out of herself. I really? did. I wasn't. Yeah, I was depressed for like four days. Recently, went. How'd you hit your head? Muay Thai. Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Did you slam your head against the wall when you found out Big J's episode wasn't a thing <laughs> yeah, anymore? Yeah, I was upset at G Mike. <laughs> sorry, G Mike. No, I'm not sorry. You Fuck you, G Mike. You piece of shit. You must have broken your leg during Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> yeah. That that when you told me that it's crazy. I don't think I. I, I snapped my leg. Dirty. A leg is well, an insane. Well, have we talked about it on here? Um, if you what go to happened? YouTube and you look up "girl snaps leg," what's the same video you showed me when it happened? It's sick. It's you. It's, no, but no. it's the same, but it's the same thing. injury. It's the same injury. The girl did the same thing 
to her that she did to me that made me like, and it snapped the same way in every. So it's like b- bending your leg like a flamingo, like I it just goes backwards. Oh, it's fucked. God. It's so fucked up, dude. Or maybe white belt snaps breaks leg in jujitsu. <laughs> I can't. Something like that. I can't that. even imagine. I can't. When I think about the pain, I feel it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what having empathy is? <laughs> Do I feel for yeah. others? Am I empathetic? <laughs> <laughs> Am I empathetic like everyone else? Yeah. My, I, my brother legitimately doesn't have like that like, empathy. Where, like, he's I've a ha- sociopath. I've had legitimate conversations with him, like, but do you understand how someone else feels? Like, I can get how they feel. I'm <laughs> oh, like, no. I don't, I don't think you're getting it. Your oh, brother's no. a problem. <laughs> no. He's a very, he, my brother's just me, but monotone and like went to like college as business. So it's, like, it's very like analytical. How so, old is he? Uh, 30. Does he have a wife? No. Is he hot? He looks like me. She, now he wants you to decide whether he's hot I know. in person. I, he really that's, just that's good, put right? it out there. So that's a trick for all the boys so at home. So annoying. Can for I all the see boys a picture of your he's brother? He's all right. Uh, yeah. I mean, this part also can't go in. <laughs> this podcast is just going to no, be No, I'm going to say right now on air if I would fuck your brother. Yeah. I'm going to say right that's now. That's reasonable. Yeah. I'm going to find a picture. And we'll tell the truth. And I'm going to just try and describe. I'm going to look at your brother and try and describe him and see if I can get it right. Like so that a um, police sketch person would be able to draw him perfectly. Yes, from and your description pers- and from his personality. Oh, okay. You're gonna see if you could read his picture like yes. a psychic. Yes. Okay. You're using your psychic Here we intuition. Go. Your brother does not look like you at all. No. Well, I think we look similar. What? I think we look similar. I don't no. think so. Really? No. No. Your brother looks like a Florida man. <laughs> well, really? that makes sense. Yeah, he's a Florida man. He is a Florida man. <laughs> you look like. I don't like this picture of me. Not as much of a Florida man. Your brother looks like he's like a fishes for a living. He's your brother looks like he's a little malnourished. I will... <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> your brother looks like a pet that got forgotten about. <laughs> that came... In the arms of the angels <laughs> far away. I mean, that guy looks like he was part of the planning of the Boston bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. It's Dylan's oh brother. My God. <laughs> wow, you guys totally look like Yemeni stairs. Anyway, um, what happened when with you and um, you're, you're, Ian's you're, back and Paco? Did we not hit it off? Can you get into the yeah. mic? We. Oh, he's did we not hard. Hit it I could tell. Dude, we were fucking laughing. We were riffing. We were having fun. He told me I would have been a better guest than Ralph. So, yeah, BFF. We gotta cut that out too. <laughs> 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 this podcast to, just is bleep. not arable. <laughs> it's not arable. We had to. We had had to cut this whole podcast <laughs> out. It's so Why funny. Dylan keeps saying the M word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, Gmail, you shut the fuck up. Later, Bye, man. and thanks for coming. So funny. Um, that's crazy. So you have one brother. Yeah. I have Any one, sisters? I have a, I'm the youngest. I have a middle. I have a sister in the middle. I take you for a sister guy. Yeah, me you too. You seem like you have sisters. You seem sensitive to women. I have three stepsisters. Yeah. That makes sense. It goes back to one of the things we're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> what? Dylan being sensitive around girls and seeing, like, um, just being, like, empathetic towards somebody. Yeah, We've I love seen girls. that in him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like women. Yeah, him very sweeters. He's very straighters. <laughs> He's very not gayers. Uh, One thing I know about Dylan is he's not gay. <clears throat> you know my dad thought That's I was gay. That's crazy because kid. just a few days ago you said you weren't sure if Chris Fago was gay, and now you know for a fact no, Dylan's but that could not make gay. Sense. That could make sense. Thank you. Though. I'm sick. Thank you. No, you, you couldn't see Fago just being like, like, like Chase, on the down low. No, I couldn't. A down low gay. No, he's a down low gay. No. Yeah, because Dylan, if he was gay, it's like. We would all know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't be able to stop fucking dudes all over the place. <laughs> yeah, he'd be fucking. It, this place would. I'd be dating Ian. Dylan and Ian yeah. would have fucked by now at least once. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you, Dylan? You would have gotten a taste of Tim Dylan at one point. Mm-hmm. You would have tried. There's another Florida comedian. Tim oh, Dylan would have put him inside out. Yeah, Dylan. Tim His Dylan would have been backwards. You, There's another Florida comedian that um. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Bad you know, this is also a great way it's to punish G Mike. It's such a great way because he has no idea what's real or what's not. <laughs> no, he better cut out everything we said to cut out, and he better make it appropriate so the podcast still works at the end. <laughs> so you have to cut it out, but also make it <laughs> work. <laughs> yes, what a good producer would do. <laughs> what a good producer! Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I um the core memory I have of you though is when I was um I took more shrooms uh, not by accident but when I was on stage at the goddamn comedy jam during Skankfest mm-hmm. I had taken more shrooms before just hanging out and joining the show than I've ever taken in my life mm-hmm. higher than I've ever been in my life mm-hmm. that's the were, way you're supposed to be at Skankfest no but like sure. legitimately higher than I've ever been mm-hmm. hell yeah me Tom all of them and Josh Adam Myers goes. Come on, Dale, get on stage. And I'm sitting there like, I I, I, I can't do this right now. You killed it at the jam. Thank you so much. I thought you did great. When I, I'm, I'll tell you why I did great. Seriously, I'm, this is going to sound I was sappy. too high to get on the stage. It was my turn, too. I was supposed I, to get I up. I was on stage I'm, freaking out. I really out. regret I had an opportunity to do the jam this year and got too high. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I was way too high. I was shitting my pants for the first minute. The reason I feel like I did decent, I'm there singing. I look down. It's Kimmy's face. Smiling like like a freaking mom just who just Kimmy's saw their song. Like, Especially guys, on when you're on psychedelics, bee. when I'm on psychedelics with Kim, all I could see is <laughs> eyelashes. She looks up <laughs> yes. like fucking lamb chop. Like <laughs> so cute. Like, your smile it's, is her, burned it's in my the memory. Best thing to see. Kim on drugs is the best thing Kim to see. Shoves her way to the front, like the front row. Your rope. energy just hits everybody too. You're, you're like, wow, photos. everything's fine. And I was just like. Oh, somebody does love me. Aww, and that was like sweet. one person liking me was enough for me to be like, you deserve to be here. Dylan, you must have had an ups and downs at Skankfest with like it being the best weekend ever and losing the fight and like the whole thing just being like, it's it was a lot high anxiety for people who were performing yes. and you were also staff. Yeah. And, and you were fighting. Yeah. It must have been the most roller coaster of a fucking weekend going from the highest highs to being the most exhausted ever. I think I handled it decently because you gotta remember like when I first got hired, Skankfest was around the corner and I was supposed to be on skank fest as a comedian like i'm still not funny but back then i was not ready at all i did the depraved lewis i got a, a taste for the fans it was definitely interesting but it was more fun like after i fought harrington i did shrooms and then did a set so I'm not only do my first set on shrooms i told you about this i did my first set on shrooms mm-hmm. but then i just talked about harrington for like the first like couple minutes i was like and i made a joke about everyone calling me nervous like people kept coming up to me like you nervous for this fight Are you nervous i'm like yeah no shit i'm nervous mm-hmm. like have you guys seen how you guys talk to Big J? You guys can't even co- hold it, hold together a conversation. I just, and it was a, it was just a lot of fun to kind of like do stand up, but for people, like I didn't do one joke that I tell like here. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Like I only did jokes for Skankfest. Well, you mm-hmm. can't. I also like that about Skankfest because like everybody's getting up so much that once you do your set once or twice, you can't really just do your regular set again. Right. It's like everybody's seen it. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I everybody gets crazy. Their the comedy gets so wild because yeah. people are just reaching for like I whatever's the, there. Yeah. I think the best, especially because like people know us at Skankfest, so like the best thing you can do is give them what they want to hear. So like me going on stage and being like, so like my dad and stuff, they don't want to hear they want to hear like what I want to have to say about Harrington, what yeah. I have to say about Lewis, they want what hear, I have to say they about want Jay. Skankfest material. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, Skankfest. I, the only joke I have that's new written is um I have a joke about dating an older woman. Mm-hmm. So that, that's from when I tell it here, I go, I'm dating an older woman, I don't say I'm dating Corinne. But mm-hmm. when I go to Skankfest, I'm like, I'm dating Corinne. Right. Da-da. And Use me- first and last name. Yeah. Exactly. Like- so like now I'm doing that same bit, but with Corinne, 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 and it's murdering. Like yeah. Shane Gillis brought me up on my first set, and it's insane still to this day. Like I'm hitting punchlines, and he's opening that door at the box. He's going, hmm. And I was like, "That's cute, dude." Like, still to this day, I was like, oh, "I'm just happy that I was able." Dylan's to being so sincere. Them. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking thing. I want out. <laughs> this podcast is a minute and fifteen. <laughs> it ends. It ends when you guys go, and we got fucking Dylan. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Oh man! Oh fuck, dude! Vegas is gonna fuck us all up. Oh my I'm god! I'm so excited. I can't believe that we are going to do Skankfest We're in Vegas. We're gonna lose so much money. Oh my god! You know, yeah. Lewis is gonna make no, us. Go- I'm going to. It's Skankfest weekend. We've never not been on at our best energy ever. We are going to right. win so much. Hundreds money. of thousands of dollars, probably. I'm going to win a jackpot and come back actually richer than ever. I'm She's gonna quit Cast Digital after. Skankfest. I'm saying it right now. I'm putting. I'm putting a hundred dollars on black, black. Uh, not uh, roulette. One time. Thousand dollars on black. That's gonna be my thing for skiing. You're putting a thousand dollars on one number. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just oh no, on no one not on, on black. one number on, on black. On so black. it's a fifty fifty chance. So it's fifty fifty. If you don't get it, do you have to pay her in back? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you. <laughs> you looked into my soul as you said that joke. Oh, I hate you, Kim. That was goddamn funny. <laughs> That's great. I'm wearing a jacket the other day, and Kim just goes. Couldn't buy that for you. Like I'm my own person, no, people. You should have seen us at Skankfest. I only asked that because it was what is it called? Scotch and uh, soda. Yeah. Dude, and you, that's such a like 
You were wearing know, this like thing. super bright orange uh, hoodie at Skankfest. Go uh, buy Dope Dope and Dine merch. Yeah, and I went over to Corinne at one point. And I was like, I like how you dress him in bright colors. <laughs> <laughs> I hate so you it's nice. You could always keep an eye on it. I, th- I will say the most when I was working the merch booth, I'm there with my whole crew, and Corinne had her set. She had guys we fucked, and she goes, "You hungry?" I go, "Yeah." yeah. And she brought back a bunch of Subway sandwiches, but all cut up into like fours. No. And I was like, "This is for you and all your crew." And I got some drinks and chips. And I was like, "Mom, chill." <laughs> she's the best. Like, she's, no, she is. The she's best. the greatest. But it is hilarious to make fun of her. You being her baby. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Listen, I like. I genuinely love Corinne. It's funny. Like not funny. Uh, someone recently was like, um. I'm surprised how long it's lasted. And it got me upset where I was like, like we generally like each other. Like, we generally have fun. Yeah, like, I feel like with something dynamic. like this, you wouldn't really like, like, you guys were dating secretively for a little, a little while, bit, yeah. right? And it's something where, like, you don't really come out to the public unless you think it's going to last for yeah. a bit. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you and Harrington mm-hmm. were doing secret for a while, but I'm sure that was more because mm-hmm. of just fans in general. We no? just didn't want to, like, get shit. And also, we were just trying to, like, figure it out yeah and like because yeah. if you want to be sure if we were going to exactly. break up in like two months we don't want it to be like everybody's business you yeah know? that's what i date people yeah. i don't put them on my social media i've only you've only seen one or two boyfriends my entire life on mm-hmm. my social media who's like the last boyfriend you had big on your social media lewis yeah mm-hmm. like here's the bat like yeah yeah because still to this day because i was and I dated you would someone... have like stories with the guy you dated in between that kind of thing but nothing yeah. that lives forever on your page mm-hmm. yeah which i get yeah i don't think she I mean, she brought that up the other day. She was like, you know, you don't post me and stuff. And I, I don't know. It has nothing to do with not posting my girlfriends or whatever. It's just like a, um, I don't know. I always, I actually feel like I get like nervous when I'm about to post my girlfriend or something. Because I'm like, it'd be really annoying to like make that pose. And then we get into a fight the next day. And mm-hmm. like, I'm like oddly superstitious. Like if I save your name in my phone under a certain name. Like let's say it just says Kim, uh, calm like I met at gas. Mm-hmm. I'll, it, now we're friends, but I'll never change that right. name. Interesting. You get nervous about posting a girl on your page in case you break up with her. I've never thought of it like that, but I, I guess always, that's, yeah. I always get scared of, like, <clears throat> I'm going to make a post back. Uh, thank you so much. I love you, baby. Thank you for the, the Christmas together and the trip with all, all this stuff. And then you break up. And, and then we break up. There. And it's just like, you just I have to go archive it or whatever. Right. Like, yeah, that's that's like, awkward. It's very awkward. So Yeah, my I deleted all the pictures with me and my ex on Instagram except for the ones that my grandmother are in. I was like, he could stay if it's a grandma picture, and that's it. And honestly, you should just send those in to get photoshopped. Yeah, (laughs) I should. (laughs) Get him out of there. I totally should. Yeah, it's so funny. When I broke up with my ex, he archived everything. Yeah? Like on his page. The Florida ex. Of course. The Florida ex, yeah. And he was like, I archived it, and it just didn't make sense to me because I I would leave Wait, you're mad about it? No, I did. Well, I think that... It, it kind of sh- maybe functions differently differently if you're not such a public figure. It's like if it's just your friends on your page, it's not like you don't yeah, really but you need guys to aren't delete dating stuff. anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but it's but, still part of your history. Yeah, but as a guy, it's like if you have if you're gonna try to meet a new girl, she's like, why do you ha- still have your ex on your thing? Like you understand? Like think about how you would feel if you were starting talking to a guy and he just well, had. I wouldn't yeah. care if he had his ex on his thing. Yeah, photos old, of old photos from like two years ago. Yeah, mm-hmm. you would. Yeah. I, I don't think I would mind, honestly. No, me neither. Never. If it was like it's so, kind of cute looking through someone's about, timeline like, and seeing if, their life change. I was gonna say like reading the caption though about like I love you, babe. You're my everything. That wouldn't bother you a little. What bit if it's like a who started mm-hmm. comedy and. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those posts to begin uh, with. First of all, get it out, get, of, get here. Get it out of here. <laughs> um, I don't like those posts to begin with, what, though. Like, ones? I love you so much, baby. You've been the light in my stars for two years now, and thank you so much for this anniversary. But present. have you ever been it's close a, to doing it? I've done it before, totally. But Me it's too. it's lame, and I regret having those posts. Are fucking embarrassing. Yeah, I'm embarrassed by any time I've done it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so crazy. I haven't been in a relationship so long. I can't even remember how it goes. <laughs> You're forgetting the yeah. cadence of a relationship. No, I was saying this yesterday, though. I truly think it's different with everyone. And especially, like, you've only been through relationships that haven't worked out, right? Mm-hmm. So you shouldn't be looking for something that feels like that. That's like the, true. The, they should all feel different. The new relationship should feel different. different than anything you've had in the past. So you don't have to worry about, like, remembering how it feels. It's going to be brand new that's if such, it's good. That's that such is, a good point. It mm-hmm. is a good point. Mm-hmm. I've learned that recently because, like, all of my exes, just, like, a constant anxiety around them. Like, even when we were dating, I was, like, I felt, like, locked into this thing that I just wasn't sure if I wanted to be in. Mm-hmm. Whereas now I'm just happy all the time hanging out with my best You're friend. You're literally it's with the, the definition best. of a free yeah. spirit. 
Yeah. You know she's in love because she's happy all the time and it's with Harrington. <laughs> That's how you know she's truly, deeply, madly in love. It's actual love. Yeah. She, there, Guys, there's, I, I don't know what to say. Harrington is the best. He literally is the best. I know we shit on him a lot. He does everything He's for the Alex. best. It's funny. We were, we were like, Paco's filming like a segment or whatever and mm -hmm. um, Harrington was like mad. He was like, you know, it's weird. I'm not on Broad Topics. They're doing their best of this week and it's Dylan and <laughs> he was just being a little salty boy and it was just funny because there was a moment where I'm laughing and I go, people think me and Harrington like hate each other on the internet. I go, I love the guy. <laughs> He's a big goofball and I love the guy and it's the same thing where like, I'll be like Brooklyn Comedy Club and I don't think people know where like Harrington's just like wants to help people, mm -hmm. help young comics, mm -hmm. and like, I have like I have a ton of respect for him. But then when the camera touch turns on, it's like fucking homeless. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a yeah. It's, you have to talk shit about it. Yeah, we have Built to all it. talk shit about each other. Yeah. <laughs> What we would we do friends. if we were nice? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I feel like even when we're like on drugs together at a party or at somebody's house, Someone there's gets moments roasted. sometimes where one of us is too sincere, and everybody's like, "You fucking gay? What are you?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. The amount of times Corinne does that to me, I hate it. Like, when well, you're just being like, "I love you, mm -hmm. baby." I we got. You know, like, I would do anything for we, you. We didn't, She's we, like, "Ew." <laughs> we didn't get into like a fight or anything, but like uh, we had dinner the other night. And she got, got like a little mad for a second, and then I stood up and I was being romantic. I like grabbed her by the face, and I was like, "Baby, you know I love you." And she goes, "Yeah, you're gay." <laughs> <laughs> and it's just always. But again, it's like also. Like, Fuck! I was just trying this oh thing God, for a second. <laughs> but it's it's like a weird. It's like it's a psycho way of saying like I love you back. Mm -hmm. It's like this most psychotic way, and that's what you say. Just yeah, we're all comedians. Yeah. yeah, like it. I feel like being with Karina, like it's definitely the most different relationship I've ever had. But I like I could imagine dating a twenty four year old or like another. Now you can't go back. Let's call this back. episode "Girls We Fucked." <laughs> <laughs> Girls We. That's the name of my new podcast. Actually, relax, <laughs> <laughs> chill out. I've already coined it. That's so funny. So you don't think you could date a younger girl again? I, I generally don't think because uh, one of the things she said to me like just because uh, mommy gave you her milk <laughs> <Ew. laughs> uh, she was like she, like we like, we got into like not a fight but she was like she was like go date another twenty like they're fine if you want go date a twenty four year old and like there was a moment I thought about it like what would I do if we broke up and went mm -hmm. start dating again like twenty four I don't think I could do it I don't think I could date a it'll probably seem more annoying now yes for sure. you realize, even like talking to people like. 20 year olds, you're like, you're like, oh, you're just, you're that's working what it's like conversation. talking to you. <laughs> yeah, that's how we it's feel work. like right now. We're clocked overtime. <laughs> Listen, I'm Big J's apprentice. You will show me the respect I need on, this, that. on this silent episode. Man, it's so funny. Oh, Damn. shit. Damn. So, have you, is, is, have you dated old, like, she, it's weird to even say older because Corinne's not old. Yeah, you're no. just young. older than me. Yeah, yeah. older than young. you. Women? Anyone older than you before? Um, no, other than like tw a couple years, maybe like four, three, but never like an actual. How old are you? Twenty four. She's twenty four. Yeah, he's a baby. Mm -hmm. Wow. So there is a big age difference. Yeah, thirteen years. Solid. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I dumped a guy when I was 29 because he was 25. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can't. I and That's another thing I used to always hate because even when I was like younger, younger, like 22 and stuff, and I would aim for like 28-year-olds, mm -hmm. I could never, even I, I worked at a rooftop bar with like beautiful women. Mm -hmm. I was like one for 100 That's because how you talk. <laughs> <laughs> No one laughed immediately because it was just true. <laughs> it was just honest. It was just. Dude, I'm sorry, but it if was somebody like Dylan advice. comes up to me at a bar and he's like, "Yo, I got this. It's on fleek. I got this lit <laughs> shit." I don't say <laughs> any of these it's things. On fleek. My dick's so litty. It's, it's brick My outside. Dick's so so litty. Litty. My dick is litty. Yo, ain't it brick outside? Like, I ain't I, it I, brick outside? <laughs> fucking be like, I do dude. Say brick. Yo, what's your snap? <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me get your snap. <laughs> let me get your snap. <laughs> Favorite me. Yeah. Uh, yeah no, I'm. I'm out. This girl's gonna it. go on my best friends on Snap right away. But it works. I think it works great to meet somebody in life who you kind of know and then start dating them. I yeah. like the real world dating At thing that a 100%. lot of people don't do anymore. Like it's a lot easier than going out to a bar, meeting a rando while she's drunk and hoping things work out. Like you it's really, crazy. You really don't know like what they do it's, or who they are a as a person. True shot like, in what? the dark. It, yeah. Like it was a. Uh, um, I don't think I've said this before. It was like me and me and Corinne had a like a merch meeting on like Zoom. We were just talking about like she had a bunch of designs. No, you just, seduced her through merch. I seduced <laughs> her through merch. But like, is that I, how it happened? I through the merch meeting. So we had this merch meeting. I don't think I've ever spoken about this on a podcast. He was shirtless. And, on um, it. I just showed up. I was like, "Hey, Corinne." He's so wet from the shower a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Um, He's had a coffee. 
What's up, Corinne? <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, we had this Zoom meeting, and um, she just did, the, like, the real assies, and she had, like, her pink hair, and I remember in my, like, just, like, a guy, I was like, damn, Corinne, I was like, all right. Oh. And then we had the Zoom meeting, and just all professional, it was nothing, like, flirting, but as a man, I just watched her go, oh, oh, different, Dylan's a little... Different than I thought. Did you, it was there a moment you noticed that happen? Yes, hundred percent. And she even said she goes, "I she was during that meeting. I, I realized you were more like mature than I realized, and like you have. Did you guys have bad connection. Say <laughs> <laughs> she's seeing stuff we don't, but I'm happy for you, buddy. <laughs> you was the just, internet bad? You guys are disagreeing with everything she I say. She obviously doesn't know you too well. <laughs> I don't think your girlfriend knows you at all. I'm happy that Corinne is blind and deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Big J's episodes. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, man. But so yeah, you, it, saw, you saw the moment it I saw the moment, and then in my head, I was like, okay, that's that's something. And then um, a couple, like maybe a couple months later or whatever, or a month or two later, I was, I don't know what made me, she posted me on Twitter, and I had like a joke in my head, so I screenshotted it, sent it to her, mm -hmm. and she was like, my new my new crush since I don't I have a man in my life is this dude from this show and I was like who and I sent oh I sent a picture of the guy I go mm -hmm. this is your boo and he just like some white dude with like floppy hair and I was mm -hmm. like I'm in right oh it kind of looked, looked like, like you, like, you. Like, like not a lot but it enough, was your vibe enough to where I was like oh I'm close to that yeah like, and then I just asked her for drinks and then she did she was doing Legion of Skanks with Dalton and then we just got drinks after. So Hell she, yeah. she was already, she was like, oh, I'm going to be at the stand later. And I was like, and she says it to the, she, she, she says it to this day. She was like, just because he had the confidence and he kept. Confidence is huge, people. We've mm -hmm. said it on this show before. We'll say it again. Yes. Confidence is literally everything. That's everything. why people hate me. <laughs> Is because of my confidence. You're so confident. Mike Harrington would be nowhere with me if it weren't for all of his confidence. Mm -hmm, Mike really? Harrington. Yes, yeah. for oh, years. Right. Mike does have odd confidence. You Mike, has, Mike, the, Mike the, has admitted to the world that he's in love with me for years just because he's just that confident. Instead mm -hmm. of just keeping it a secret crush, he's just been like, I'm in love with you whenever you're ready, date me. My favorite part is when you mm -hmm. call That's him, confidence. Yeah. You call Mike out about stuff like that. If you're on air and you're like, you know you've said this, and he'll just go, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Yeah. I like this... Like, Harrington has taught me how he to He lives like, very like he is truth. like exactly He's taught me how to be better in conversation because like if you're joking with somebody you're trying to get an edge on them I've done it with Mike and he'll just go yeah what do you mean and yeah. I'm like he's like yeah you're bringing up truths yeah oh, and and I'm like you're like, yeah, I, you I can't get me on that. Yeah, like, That's I gotta, I gotta every, be everybody knows what I am, and it's exactly what I present. Yeah. Yeah. So he, it's, it's you're like, I, I have to be funny. I have to think of an angle where Her you'll be like, Harrington, you know this. I'm, mm, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Harrington, yeah, you're, he a, really, he you're really a dog walker. You, the... you used to be homeless. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I love I love streets and dogs. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I love sleeping at the park. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, he's like, the park's nice. Have and you ever seen the to, park? And then he'll try to convince you that it's better than your life. Yeah, no, by the end Truly. of a conversation with You're Harrington, I'm like, side. do I want to like, sleep in a should park? Should I be homeless? <laughs> should I be in a park? <laughs> it's crazy. It's yeah, for nuts. sure. You can't keep the boy inside. He just likes to go run in with a frisbee. It's He's literally he's, golden he's a golden retriever. Dog, yeah, he's a golden retriever. He's the best, though. What kind of dog would you be if you were a dog? A lab. I think I'm similar. Just like a floppy, happy to be. Like you both have golden retriever. And I, I don't see Harrington as a golden retriever. I see you as a golden. I think retriever. Yeah, maybe golden Harrington's retriever. a black lab. Harrington, I would see as a black lab, or like um, I don't know my dogs that well. Oh, he would look. What are those ones? The not pit bulls, not bu bulldog. No, you, not bulldog. No. Yeah, no, not not the short. I didn't not, like that. <laughs> no, the ones no. that are boxer. He's got boxer. Yeah, yeah boxer like would make sense. He's got yeah. boxer energy. Yeah, he's friendly yeah. and floppy, but he also looks a little like yeah. Yeah. grugged. No, I like it. Yeah. And that's a what kind of dog would you be if you were a dog? I think I'd be a small yappy one. <laughs> yes, you'd be like a chihuahua. -ish. I'd be maybe a Yorkie. I think a I Yorkie. identify with being a Yorkie. What about me? You dog me. Pitbull. I think you might be a really cute wiener dog. I'll take a wiener dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a wiener dog. I think you'd be a cute dog. wiener. I'll take a wiener dog. A little dashing. I like me. What, what would Kim be? A I don't think I agree with a wiener dog. No? Because a wiener dog can't put up a fight. That's Kim true. can put up a fight. That's true. Like, That's true. You, you have to pick a dog that if there were other dogs, like listen, there's another dog that dog can lose to, but not many. So it's I not like a that. so it's not a pit bull, but she could put up a fight against a pit bull. I don't a want Doberman? To say a Rottweiler? A Doberman. No, no. My brother Kim's has a, a Doberman. Rottweiler, maybe. Oh, a Rottweiler. Good, too. Yeah. I like either of those. A, a Doberman, oh, they're like beautiful, but also like very independent. I want a Doberman. 
Yeah, no, I've yes. never heard you say anything no, like that. Don't. It's the only kind of dog I've ever seen where I'm like, I feel like I could rock this dog and it would be like cute. They're so hard to train. Like you have to be on top of them. I'm a good train. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you right she now. Could, if I could train a man, I could train a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I can train a dog. I'm good at training dogs. Yeah. Yeah, I have a thing where dogs listen to me. It's because she, I think a lot of the issues. That's Kim. Wouldn't I'm telling I look you that, cool that I agree. The issue people have kind of look with like training me. a dog. Kim, you're a fucking Doberman. Yeah. Uh, you would be a good dog trainer because the the problem people have are being too nice to the dog and it doesn't get trained. And you're like, I don't want to look at you until you do what I say. Yeah. Yeah. No, dogs and that's how you train to me. them. Yeah. Um, when I was living with my sister during the pandemic, I started training her dog, and it's so easy. Corinne hates that I try to train Alfred. Like, Alfred's too old to be trained. It's not, not, it's not like even try to train him. Teach an old dog He'll just, tricks. We like we'll come home and Alfred will like rip into something and Krim will just like hand him a tree and be like, "Oh, you've been alone all day." I'm like, I I, I don't agree with this at all. Uh, you can see their different parenting styles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, that's that's Krim's like he just hasn't had anyone to play with and Dylan's like spank him. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I kind of get it. That's the Israeli. She. That's what she said. She was like, "That's that's the Israeli in you. That's your Israeli father. Like he doesn't like dogs." And I was like, "No, all my dogs respect my dad. It's just like they listen. Mm-hmm. Like my dog would never jump on the couch or like beg for food." Alfred's naughty. He's a naughty boy. He's naughty. She hates that I say this. He's no, a, he's a naughty I love boy. Him and he he's loves the cutest me. dog ever. He's love truly Alfred. one of the cutest motherfuckers he's out there. He's a naughty but he's boy. a little naughty. A little naughty. Yeah. Well. Well, that was our episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was our 15-minute episode. That was it. We hope you guys like the, like this two minutes and 47 seconds. Uh, Dylan, thank you so much for coming and potting with me. us. Absolutely. Guys, also, if you're watching this on my channel, Hell go yeah. subscribe to Alex and Kim. Hell yeah. And um, guys, thank you so much for being on Doped Up and Dying. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Your podcast is fucking it's dope. Fucking dope this dude. is awesome vibes, dude. Oh, thank yeah, you. Great I know, vibes. I love the colors that we do. You know, the mix. I love it. The pink. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, Dylan, where can people find you? Guys, uh, Dylan, Jay Negri on everything Instagram, YouTube. Um, go follow me on all those platforms and please follow Doped Up and Dying on audio platform, anything that you watch podcasts on. Hell yeah. And you guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Queen Kong One. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free subscription. And check out my other podcast with Sarah Weinshank called This Bitch. Anywhere podcasts are available. Hell yeah. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at I am Alex Scar. Uh, check out Stick and Portly Watch Rick and Morty every Monday right after Legion of Skanks only on GasDigitalNetwork.com slash live. You could also use promo code TOPIX, T-O-P-I-X, to subscribe to Gas Digital Network with a free trial and access to every single episode on demand, bonus content, live chats, and more. Head to PodcastMerch.com for shirts, hoodies, hats, good stuff, Broad Topics logo, mushrooms. Oh, yeah. You can't buy the mushrooms there, but the shirts have mushrooms on them. Mm-hmm. And Dylan does great work there. Thank you. Also, um, go buy some doped up merch. Hell yeah. Check yeah, check stuff. it out. Yeah, if you really... love podcasts, pod- podcastmerch.com is a great source for like gifts for people who listen to Gas Digital. Mm-hmm. Fucking a lot of pro- yeah, a lot go of do it. Um, and thank you for listening, everybody. We love you all. Yes. I think we should do for the next doped up and topics is I'll invite Big J. There and we, we can go. Do, and then in the middle of the episode, I'll just leave. <laughs> so you guys get your episode back. That's all well, you want is Apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Dylan. Bye. Bye. Bye.